friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Now we have to work on our music player buttons. Get the play pause button click event. When this button is clicked, we can have two situations. Either the icon on the play pause button is play.png or it is pause.png. So go to control and get the if then else block. And go to logic and get the equal to block. And go to play pause button and let's check what is inside the play pause button and whether it's equal to. If I click here and I go down, I can also get the actual media block and Let's choose play.png. So if our play pause button is showing the play icon, this means that we should start playing some music. But we should also know if the music was paused so that we can resume it. So we need to now check for our this variable, the music pause status variable. So again, get an if then else block from control and here we can again duplicate this equal to block but now we are checking for our variable music paused and we are checking whether it is false that is the music was not paused and this is the situation when the app is started or the music was stopped and then started so that it starts from the very beginning. Another important thing is that we need to check whether the user has added some music to the playlist and show an appropriate message to the user if he hasn't added any music. So there's another if then else block coming in here. So there are about three of them and here we are going to check for music list size. So go to math and get the equal to block and check for greater than and again go to math and get the zero block and here we are going to check for list size. So we use the length of list here too so we can duplicate it here and we can change this file path to one of these, either song names or song URIs. It is the same thing because we are maintaining the same sized lists for both these lists. Okay, so if we have at least one song in our music list, that is the length of the list is greater than zero, then we are going to get the music using its URI and start playing it. So set the player dot source to not this png file but from lists get the select list item block and here the list is not the song names but the song uris because we need the location of the song that has to be played and what is the index the index is our music position because we are maintaining which song is being played. Okay, so set the player source to the song URIs lists item at index music position. And then we have to start the player. So call player.start and Another important thing is that the music has started playing now. So we should change the icon to now pause.png so that next time we come inside the play pause button dot click event, we will be going inside this else condition here, the pause situation. Okay, so how can we do that? Go to play pause button and set its image to pause.png. So what will come in this else? This is the alternate for this situation. That means there's no music. So we have to tell the user 
to add some music using a notifier show alert block okay that he needs to add some music please add some music okay and what will come inside this else so this is the counter part the alternate to if music paused is equal to false so that means music paused is true so we have to now instead of resetting the source we have to just call the player to start playing it and this will automatically resume it from the place where it was paused so we are just going to duplicate this that just start playing the music from wherever it was paused and we need to also change the icon to pause.png and we are also going to set our music pause status to now false that we have taken care of this situation so that the next time we come here we will be going here okay and the last else block as mentioned before is for the situation that the music image isn't play.png and in fact it was paused so this means that we need to pause the music here so first of all we are going to set this music pause status to true and we are also going to set the play pause button image to now play and we are going to call the player to pause the music so that next time when we come here we will be going inside this play.png because of this and we will be going inside this situation because of this that music paused is true and we will be resuming the music now the stop button code is pretty simple get its click event that we just need to tell the player to stop playing music okay and we need to set this music pause status to false okay so that even if the music was paused before now it should be restarted because the stop button has been clicked and we have to set our play pause button to play.png okay now what happens when the player finishes one song and has to start playing the next item in the playlist that is the list of music uris the code is exactly the same as the next button code so we can make a procedure to avoid repetition so let's call it play next song we need to do some checking here that we have at least one song in our music list that hasn't been played yet so that we can move on to the next position okay so from control get the first block if which doesn't have an else and we are going to use the math equal to block and we are going to check for less than and the less than is our music position so go to variables and get the get block choose music position here and we need to check if our music position is less than the length of the music list or uris so duplicate this and choose song uris and then we are going to set our global music position so go to variables get the set block and choose music position here and from math get the plus block and again from math get the number block for one adding a one to it so set music position to music position plus one to add a one to it and now we are going to set the source so let me go up and this code is exactly the same so i can bring it down and put it here okay so we have added a one to our music position and now after setting the source we are going to tell the player to start playing that music okay and 
We are also going to set our music pause status to false and set the play pause button to show the pause image and call this procedure from both the next button dot click event. So this procedure and also when the player has finished with one song that is when the player's completed event is triggered. So again call this procedure from here. Okay. Our previous button code is similar to our procedure this one next song but this time we have to reduce the music position by one. So get the previous button dot click event and we need to do some checking here too that our music position is greater than one. So I can duplicate this entire thing and bring it down and get the if block and plug this one here. But here we are going to check for greater than one. If I am on at least the song number two so that I can go to song number one and I'm not on song number one because then there will be no previous song to be played, only then I am going to go back. Okay, so how to go back? Again, we can duplicate this one, but we need a minus block here. So put it here and get the minus block and then use all this to fill it up. So we subtract a one from music position and then this code is exactly the same that we set the source and we start the player and we make sure that music pause is false and we change the icon to pause.png. So now we are done with the player buttons. So how about the deletion? I designed the app so that we can delete a song by just tapping on it using the same design as my shopping list app. So we just need to remember that here we have to delete from two lists, song URIs and song names. And we have to also update our music position in certain situations. For example, we have five songs in our playlist and we are playing song number four. Okay, so we are playing it and the user deletes song number two. Okay, so our music position which was four should now become three. Okay, but consider this situation that we are playing song number four and the user deletes this one. So we are not affected by this change. Our music position will stay for, okay? And we also have to think of another situation where the user tries to delete the song which is being played. So we have to give an appropriate message to the user that it should not be allowed, for example, song number two, which is being played. So let's consider all these situations after we have selected an item from the list view to be deleted. Okay, so let's go back to our project and get the list views dot after picking event and first we will check for this situation that we are playing song number two and the user tries to delete song number two. So how can we check for that from control get the if then else block and from logic get the and block and here we will check whether the player is playing and our music position is the same as the user chosen index. So go to player and get the is playing and again from logic get the equal to block and 
I can use this music position from here and we are going to check if the music position is the same as the selected index of the list view okay and if this is equal then this means that the user is trying to delete the same song that is being played so we have to show an appropriate message show alert so this song cannot be removed as you are playing it in else we have to first check whether the user is trying to delete an item that is at a position less than the music position that is a music position is actually greater than the selection index so again from control get the if then block and from math get the equal to block and here we are going to check for greater than and check if our music position is greater than list food dot selection and in this situation we are going to reduce some one from it so we can duplicate the same code from previous button so we subtract a one from music position and now we just have to remove the item chosen by the user from both the lists so go to lists and get the remove list item block and make sure that it is outside this this if block because we have to do this removal in both situations this one and this one both so the lists are song names and the index is list view dot selection index just duplicate and remove it from song URIs too. And in the end, we have to update our list view. So set its elements to song names. Okay, so we are done. Have fun coding this app. If you like my tutorials, please support my work by buying me a cup of coffee. The link is in the video description. Also, do subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the great projects that I've planned for you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and goodbye.